Hi, welcome to All Dog Grooming in the Heart of Kinsale. Today we're going to take you through grooming your dog from start to finish. Well, here we are today grooming a red setter. As you can see, he's got a lot of dead hair on him. So we're going to clip him with a number seven down the back, down the side of the legs, leaving the featherings either side of the legs. So we're going to clip all this dead hair off. This is our first clip. So we will give it another clip after this one. So we're taking all the dead hair off, removing all this dead hair right down and we're leaving right down to the skirt which is underneath the body we're taking it right down keeping this dead hair all off the dog this is going to make the dog a lot younger looking so we're clipping now down at the side of his body down to the rib cage so you can see we're starting to form a little skirt there then we're going to take it down all down by the side of the front of the legs down by the top of the leg cleaning that right off as you can see he's got hair on the front of his legs so we'll remove that and leave the feathering to the back of the legs so he has to have a nice clean leg but leaving the natural featherings at the side of the leg so we're taking that all away now as you can see we're leaving the skirt which we're cutting into here now so we'll leave that we'll take down the sides of the leg there at the back and we're going to have that all nice and clean. There's a few clipper marks there now at the moment, not too bad, but they'll all come out in the second clip. It's very important to second clip because otherwise you'd have clipper marks. So we're clipping away now and we're going to do all around under his chest. We're going to do up around the neck and under the ears. So it's nice and clean under the ears as we're doing there now. You lift up the ear and clip right underneath so normally there's mats and knots under the ear so we're taking that all away and then we're going to clip down in line with the front leg right down in line with the front leg leaving the chest bone hair to the just to the top of the chest bone we leave the hair so we're going to clip that all nice and neat away so we're doing the same on the other side so we're clipping down the front taking the hair away from the front of the legs and cleaning that right away so we're going to basically do what we did on the other side this side but always matching up and having it even on both sides so we're just cleaning out the front of the leg there now and down in line with the front leg so we leave all this hair here so now we're going to take the hair off the front of the legs so that he's got a nice clean front leg We have all the featherings at the back, they stay on. We're gonna go over the top, taking all this dead hair off, which is no good to this dog. So we're just gonna keep on clipping them until we get some sort of a shape. As you can see, the hair is coming off quite easily because of the texture of the coat. The red setter is, the hair is quite soft, so it comes off quite easily. So we're gonna clip down on the inside of the legs here again leaving the featherings on both sides of the leg and we can scissor this afterwards and tidy it up so we're clipping right down leaving the skirt which is underneath the dog's body and he needs this for protection running through the fields or whatever so he doesn't get grazed or scratched or whatever so that's why we leave the skirt underneath and the featherings at the back for sitting down or whatever so the hair is always left on the bottom unless it's completely matted and you, then you'll have to remove it. So we're just getting a nice shape here now. Dog seems happy enough. So we we'll keep it on clipping and just, this is the first clip so we're not really bothered about or too worried about how it looks because it's gonna be all done all over again. 
So we're just taking off the major hair at the moment, right down the legs. And just see, and then we're taking out the back hocks, nice clean back hocks, so that when the dog comes into your house, he's not carrying muck or dirt on the back of his feet. So we're just keeping that leg nice and clean at the back. Keeping it all nice and clean. We're just leaving the feathering, as you can see here on the back beside the tail. Now we're going to scissor out the feet. We're scissoring out the feet so that we're taking all the hair out of the, the base of the feet. And any hair that's left at the back of the hock, we'll just have it nice and tidy. So we're going to scissor it between the toes now and take all that extra hair, as you can see that light colored hair there. So we're removing all of that, so we have a nice clean foot. And the same, cleaning off everything. So we're doing the front feet now, and pulling up the hair between the toes and scissoring it out. So we have a nice clean foot. Now we're cutting up to the stopper here, and that gives right up here to the stopper, cut up, cross, but then cut down to get a nice line at the side. Then we're gonna brush out, making sure we've no knots, no nothing left. Brush out the ears, brush out all the rest of the feathering. So there's no point in brushing out beforehand. So you're gonna clip off the hair and brush afterwards. So you brush out, make sure that you have no knots, nothing left. Then we're gonna put them in the bath, give them a bath. So Dominic's gonna take over from here. He's gonna bath the red setter. First of all, using Dirty Beastie. He's going to wet the dog all over first. It's important to wash the dog. So the washing is as important because if your dog is not clean or the shampoo is not removed properly, you're not going to have a nice shiny dog. And you have to have him squeaky clean. So first of all, now we're washing him with Dirty BC, which removes the major dirt. And we rinse that completely off. And then we, we will go and get a copper tone. This brings out the copper tones in the dog's coat. And it's also a conditioner. So this really, really gives a lovely glow to the dog's coat later on. So that's all rinsed off. Then we blast him and then he goes in the dryer. So then he's in the dryer, he's in there for 15, 20 minutes. It's just a fan underneath and it blows warm air, not hot air, warm air around and then we take them out and we'll clip all over again exactly what we did before but this time we're going to be more precise about the clipping as we glide the clippers off the back of the dog and you can see the lines are coming out of the dog now as you can see there in the back rump. We're taking all that down, we're really being precise about the clipping now. So we got a nice shape and we're cutting it right under now so it gives a nice feathering at the dog. Here we are now clipping right down, clean down between the leg, no hair left on the front of the legs. Clipping off, sliding the, glide, the clippers off the back so that the hair glides right off it so it's like a natural flow of hair. There should be no lines at all. We're cutting down, cleaning all around, cutting into the skirt, making it nice and natural. It flows right off the rib cage, not on the top of the rib cage, but on the side. Now we're cleaning down under his chin, getting that all nice and neat. And now we're clipping off the top of the head with a nine. So that blends in just as, as far as the ears, no further. So now we're combing out and we're going to scissor. So this is called flagging the tail. So what we're going to do is just take the ends off, make the tail look thicker and longer. Then we're going to tidy up around the skirt, tipping it all, just making it look more fuller. So all we're doing is taking the draggly bits away. Now we're cleaning up the feet again, scissoring around the ears to make them more definite, taking off the lighter hair so it makes the ear look fuller. And scissoring in around the ears can see that the dog has no clipper marks and he looks 10 years younger. This is our dog before. As you can see all that dead hair the dog looks like a really old dog which he's not and this is after. Wow! Doesn't he look great?
this is our finished dog. Thank you for watching.